In October, I ran a poll where all of you could vote for what you think is the best Digimon design. It was definitely a fun race. Out of the many Digimon released through the years, 231 of them made it to this list. It was interesting to see that fans liked designs from the very beginning of Digimon to some of the latest designs. When I was counting the votes for the strongest Digimon poll I did earlier, there was a clear picture who will be on the top. This time it was pretty much too close to call until the very end. I also noticed that there is only a handful of X designs on the list, which I completely understand because they tend to be messy and too spiky. So let's see who ended up in the top positions. Number 10. Angemon and Angewumon These two Digimon are the best pair to share a place because of the similarities between them and how they always bring the fight to the next level. It's pretty much clear what they represent, a masculine and feminine angel, beautifully representing both sexes, with ribbons wrapping around their slender bodies. They both have long hair, golden accents on their designs and metal masks concealing their eyes. Even though they are not at the same evolution stage, they were made to complement each other's designs. I'm usually not the biggest fan of humanoid Digimon designs, but I loved these two from the very first time I saw them and they are the perfect example of how simple designs are usually the most iconic. No matter if it's a picture or animation, the style and movement of these two never ceases to amaze. Number 9. Patamon Here is another example of how a few simple lines can form an attractive and lovable design. With orange body resembling a potato, yellow belly, wings for ears and large eyes, Patamon's design seems like a minimal effort that gave the maximum result. Patamon's personality matches his design perfectly. While a static image of Patamon with his sparkling eyes makes us smile, his actions give us a range of emotions, from laughter to tears. With such a simple but iconic design, Patamon quickly became one of the favorite Digimon for many fans. Number 8. Magnamon This royal knight in the form of bipedal dinosaur evolved with the power of the Digimental of Miracles. This is reflected in his design with golden chrome digizoid armor that looks like a deconstructed digimental. He even has the crest of miracles on his abdomen armor. Traces of Vimon and his evolution line can be seen beneath the armor, especially the distinctive blue color of the skin. When attacking, pieces of armor move and open to release missiles. It is interesting to note that this design can variate since his official artwork shows him having three fingers, while in the Adventure 02 he had five. Number 7. Tailmon even if Tailmon wasn't a Digimon design, I always thought of her as one of the most iconic cat-inspired designs who would stand out no matter the franchise you put her in. Her design doesn't deviate too much from the standard looks of a cat. She has beautiful pure white fur with purple accents on her ears and tail, as well as small details that each tells a story of their own. A small holy ring on the tail that represents the holy power and gloves made out of Saber Leomon's data, which we only saw her take off once. Number 6. Pale Dramon it was interesting to see that x Vimon didn't get any votes and Stingmon was somewhere down the line, but the combination of these two designs in the form of Paeldramon ended up pretty high on the list. Paeldramon, who started the whole DNA evolutions in Adventure 02, is a combination of a dragon and insect Digimon design, with the dragon side prevailing. x Vimon and Stingmon have another fusion in the form of Dino Beemon, who has a design that leans more towards the Stingmon side. Pildramon is almost entirely covered in metal armor and has two weapons hanging from his waist that can swivel around and be used as handheld cannons. Number 5. Death X Dorugamon The design of Death X Dorugamon looks like a cyborg dragon. He is a prototype undead version of Dorugamon, which is reflected on his body, covered in stitches holding him together, and mechanical equipment on his head and limbs propelling his movements. There are even wires sticking out of his tail. It is interesting to see a Digimon not every casual fan knows about voted this high up on the list. Number 4. Gilmon Even though Gilmon follows the footprint of what a dinosaur Digimon should look like, his child stage size is still bigger than usual and he has more details compared to other child level dinosaurs like for example Agumon. X versions of Digimon usually express the dormant abilities of their regular forms, often giving Digimon a more complicated look, but in the case of Gilmon, his X variant doesn't deviate too much from his regular form in terms of design details, which means his abilities are already expressed instead of being dormant. Gilmon has a red body with white belly and black accents all over in the form of triangles and rings. He also has a digital hazard sign on his chest. According to Digimon designer Watanabe Kenji, he wanted to show that Gilmon is as strong as Sin, so he added the digital hazard sign on his chest, the same reason why his name suggests being guilty. Number 3. WarGreymon The ultimate level form of Agumon, WarGreymon has retained the dinosaur aspect of the design, but gained golden armor with grey and red accents and Wolverine-like claws. 
War Greymon is definitely one of the most iconic Digimon designs dating back to the very first season. Many fans seem to agree with this and this result proves it. Also, I have read many comments on my videos and on other websites and blogs that fans stick to the original War Greymon even after many redesigns and variants he got through the years. They also say how they still remember the first time they saw Agumon evolve into War Greymon and how much they enjoyed that moment. No matter if the episode was about him winning or losing, the writers never failed to give War Greymon a good action sequence. Number 2. Bilzebmon Blast Mode Even though he's not too different from the main form, it seems like fans prefer Bilzebmon with big wings and bigger weapons. The helmet that conceals his three eyes, glowing green instead of red, gives his head the appearance of a bird's beak. With the addition of big black wings, Bilzebmon Blast Mode now looks like a humanoid version of a crow. His right arm extends into the blaster, a huge weapon almost the size of his entire body that shoots out powerful energy waves. The design of Bilzebmon Blast Mode gives off a Fallen Angel biker vibe and he definitely doesn't look like someone who enjoys mainstream music. Before we see who got the first place of the best Digimon design, here are some honorable mentions fans also liked. Mastemon Bilzebmon Seraphimon Grace Novamon Renamon Alphorce Vidramon Dukemon Holy Angemon Holy Dramon Number one choice of Digimon fans for the best design, Mugen Dramon, looks like a machine monster made for destruction. Even though he's not a typical fusion of other Digimon, his design has elements of many cyborg type Digimon. For example, Megadramon's helmet and right claw, Metal Tyranimon's jaw and chest circuits, Metal Mamemon's two cycle blasters, Metal Greymon's left claw and chest plates, and Andromon's shoulder pads as kneecaps. He also has a fully metallic dinosaur tail that looks like it's missing its tip. In different media, this tail can change form and perform certain functions, like extent and fire energy blasts. Even though Mugendramon's design ended up being iconic, it took some time for the designers to get there, as the first iteration had a lighter body, both in color and details. Did your favorite Digimon design make the list? What do you think of this choice made by the majority of fans? Tell me in the comments below. If you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon or buy me coffee. The links are in the description below. You can also find the full list of votes on my Patreon and buy me coffee feeds. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Digimon videos. P.S. Make sure to follow my community page on YouTube as I also post updates about upcoming videos there.